Python 3.8 is available, and I'm going to show you how to install the packages with machine learning and data science in Python. To get started, you'll need the base package, Python 3.8, or the latest version that's available. And this is going to install um, once we double click the executable. And we can either click install now, or I like to customize the installation um, and um, just specify the path. So one of the things I like to do is just put it on my C drive right at the root because sometimes I access this folder. Okay, so I'm going to put it uh, right here. And then I'm going to make a new folder, and this is going to be Python 3.8. All right, and then I click install. And that's going to confirm that I want to make some changes to my device. And then it's going to install the base package. But one of the things you'll notice with Python uh, 3.8 from python.org is it's missing many of the packages that you'll need for data science or machine learning. And so we're going to go through and install some of those as well. Uh, the alternative to this is to just get uh, Anaconda and Jupyter Notebook. That's also a very good distribution. It includes a lot of the standard packages for you. So if you want to just get that, um, you can get it uh, with, uh, if you just go to download Anaconda, and a search engine result should get you there uh, fairly quickly. Uh, now this one doesn't really even need a video. Sometimes the version is uh, just a little bit behind. In this case, it's a 64-bit that you want. If you have Mac or Linux, you can also get those distributions as well. Okay, but we're just going to do this with python.org. And the setup was successful. I'll go ahead and close it. And one thing that I didn't mention before starting that you may want to do is just go to Add or Remove Programs and just search for any uh, Python distributions that are already there. And I like to, um, you know, here's Anaconda. That's okay. You can leave that one. Uh, there. Um, but if I go down to Python, sometimes you'll have older versions that are there, and I just recommend removing those if you're not using them, uh, just so they don't get in the way of the installation. Now, if you're in Linux, uh, for example, a Windows subsystem for Linux, you can do um, sudo apt-get uh, install Python. Now, this is going to just say you got the latest one, 2.7, um, and that's used by the system. If you want to get Python, uh, latest Python 3, you do Python 3 instead. Now, you can also upgrade if you want to get the latest one. Now, again, this one is just a little bit behind uh, the, the other, uh, like python.org. Okay, so I've got 3.8 now, and now what I want to do is just go to that folder that I just created and installed Python in. And I'm going to come down here to Python 3.8. Here is an older version that I uninstalled. And I can just get rid of that one. Um, OK, so I already uninstalled 3.7. All right, but let's open up 3.8 and just look at the structure here. We have our libraries here. This includes all the Python libraries. As we add more, they're going to add here or in site packages. Okay, we also have um, in here we have some other things like scripts. Here's where pip is located, and so to use pip, what we want to do is just start a command prompt cmd, and we can go pip install. Let's just start with numpy. It says it's not recognized. So what we need to do is just change directory to Python 3.8 and go into scripts. Okay, and then I can do pip install numpy. Alright, it's going to collect numpy and then install it for me. And then I want to get some other packages as well. Now you may not want to do change directory all the time to that, so you can also go to environment variables. Okay, and here you can click environment variables. Now don't do this if you don't have a lot of experience with it. Windows has made it easier now. But you want to go down here to path and click edit and then add environment variables. You can see I had some from before.
just modify these or um, edit those for yours where you're going to put the path to your directory. Okay, just type it like that or add a new line um, like this and you can just add uh, a new path. Okay, and that just is where it's going to search for things like executables. And so if I open this up again with CMD and then if I do pip install something like matplotlib uh, which is uh, says it's still not found. Okay, I think I didn't get the path quite right there. Let me just see if I still have that. Uh, I think I need to click OK here and then uh, restart my CMD again. Okay, and then I'll click OK here. Let's just try that one more time. Pip install matplotlib. Okay, now it has it in the path, so I didn't have to change directory there. You can see it's going out and getting all of the dependencies for matplotlib as well. And then let's go ahead and do a couple others as well. I like to get uh, SciPy, Scientific Python. That's a base package that we use in data science machine learning. Uh, I'm going to install a few others as well that you're going to need. Um, now again, as you're running, um, you, you can always go and add additional ones if you need to, just with, uh, with pip. Okay, so here we have, let's say, Keras. Okay, that's one that includes a backend a TensorFlow or um, others. Okay, then we can also do TensorFlow. Okay, it says it couldn't find a version that satisfies the requirements of TensorFlow. So one of the issues you might uh, run into if you always get the latest version of Python is some of these packages don't have, haven't caught up to the latest version. So Google might be working on that right now and release a TensorFlow version, or you could try to compile it yourself from source, but you know, that's gonna be typically uh, very challenging. Okay, and then I'm also going to do pip install gecko. Okay, it's going to install the dependencies, and you can do others as well. Now, you could also do a pip list to see what packages are there and what version they are. And you could also do pip uninstall, uh, uninstall, Gecko, for example, and it's going to ask you if you want to uninstall it, and it says it successfully uninstalled it. Or you can do install, if you want to upgrade it, just go upgrade. Okay, it's going to upgrade whatever package you have there uh, to the latest version. Okay, so that's just a quick tutorial on installing uh, Python and some of the packages and managing the packages with PIP.